most times when you imagine cars being built, there's robots flying everywhere and cars pumping off the end of the production line. Not here, I'm at one of the most exclusive plants in the world, the Bentley factory in Crewe, northwestern England. Here they do things a little bit differently. The factory was first used to build Merlin aircraft engines for Spitfires in the war, but in 1946 it became the home of Bentley cars. The Bentley factory relies on a little bit more TLC and a lot more time. Things work very, very slowly around here. It only operates for four days a week, with the other three reserved for maintenance and downtime. Yes, that car is moving, just very slowly. In fact, a car only arrives off the end of the production line every 20 or so minutes, and that's for the volume selling Continental model. With the even more exclusive Arnaz, just five are built each day. But that exclusivity is all part of the Bentley sales pitch, accounting for around 10,000 cars per year. That's worldwide. Customers can select all manner of options, colours and materials. Pretty much anything is available. Sometimes though, not everything appears to be in good taste. All up, there are more than 5,000 people based at Bentley's head office in Crewe. Most of them taking the time and care to carefully assemble and craft each car. Most of the production line processes are similar to those used in higher volume plants, but they're done by hand with much more attention to detail. So much of Bentley's workmanship is done in-house rather than by suppliers, allowing the company to get the look and feel just right. It also means that cars can be tailored to precisely what a customer wants. Then again, if you're paying upwards of $700,000 for a car, that's the sort of service you'd expect. The leather, for example, isn't just any leather. It comes from Scandinavia, which has fewer bugs and no barbed wire, so less problems with imperfections. It's then pressed and coloured in Austria and Venice before making its way to England. And there are plenty of cow hides, between 10 and 17, depending on the car. It takes three hides just to cover a set of front seats. And there's leather literally everywhere, from the dash and door panels to the seats and steering wheel. And considering a steering wheel can take half a day to stitch and cover in leather, it's no surprise that a whole car involves almost a week of leather stitching. Of course, it wouldn't be a classic British car without lashings of wood. The six main types of wood veneer are sourced from America and Europe, and one of the most popular, walnut, is sent to Valencia in Spain for processing. It literally involves peeling off layers from large chunks. The paper-like sheets of wood are stored in a temperature and humidity controlled humidor. When they're ready for use, the sheets are laser cut into 24 pieces to match the components of the car. Then it's off to be lacquered, where one of only three robots in the entire factory sprays on the shiny finish. And things like a wooden steering wheel are even more exclusive. So it takes one person 22 hours to create. Under those huge bonnets, there are two basic engines available in Bentleys. Of course, the legendary 6.75 litre V8 fitted to the Arnage, and the 6 litre W12 engine used in the Continental. While the engine blocks come from elsewhere, Bentley is keen to point out that most of the components and extra work is done right here at Crew. And the cars are finally starting to take shape, unless you're one of a number of customers who want the full Mulliner experience. Mulliner allows customers to select almost any colour, or feature for that matter, to further customise their cars. One of the most popular is the classic retractable Bentley Flying B, sitting proud on the end of the bonnet. And after days and days of work, a car finally appears at the end of the production line, where it goes through a series of checks. Every single car goes on a rolling road dyno to run in the brakes, check engine performance, examine the paint and other finishes and listen for any minute creaks and rattles. Then it's off on a 25 km road course on the surrounding Cheshire lanes, just to make sure that everything is working as planned. 
And after anything up to about 600 odd hours, this is the end result, one of about 10,000 Bentleys built per year. This car is a real occasion, it's not just a way of getting from A to B, and you can tell that by an instant look around the cabin. You've got to search to find a piece of plastic, there's just leather and wood everywhere.